Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, in which His Majesty offered his deepest condolences on the demise of His Royal Highness Prince Talal bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, praying to Allah Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace. The custodian of the two holy mosques expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his kind sentiments, which reflects the depth of the brotherly relations between the two countries and their people. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa met yesterday with His Highness the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and His Highness the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan. The two sides exchanged brotherly talks on the existing and distinguished relations between Bahrain and the UAE and ways to enhance them in all fields, in the best interest of the two fraternal countries and their people. Present was His Highness the Crown Prince of Dubai, Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoub. The Highnesses Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid and his Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed accompanied His Majesty the King to the heart-shaped lake, Love Lake, near Mamum Rest House in Dubai. The man-made lake was established under the directives of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid to be a lively symbol of civilization and humanity, which reflects the rooted values of the leadership and the people of UAE for love, tolerance and coexistence among various nationalities living in the UAE and the Arabian desert, and mirrors patience, giving, honour and generosity. His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed and a number of officials accompanied them during the tour. His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, his Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed and His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed to the 550 square kilometre lake, which features 16,000 olive trees, Christ thorn, acacia tatilis, and mesquites, as well as some 800,000 bushes and three walkways covering seven kilometres. His Majesty the King listened to a thorough presentation on the lake, which was created from two freshwater lakes. Local and international visitors can hike and relax in four rest areas set aside for resting and 20 sitting areas where they can sit, eat, drink and converse. According to the information presented by the officials to His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Maktoum bin Zayed, the lake also has a capacity of 500 parking areas as well as many animals and birds such as desert foxes, deer, falcons, kabara bustards, ducks and various reptiles. His Majesty the King expressed admiration for the accomplishment and piece of art which attracts visitors and tourists from the UAE, neighbouring countries and around the world who can learn about desert life and enjoy its clean environment away from populated cities. He also hailed the efforts and ideas of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid who aims in cooperation with His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed to make the people happy and showcase the UAE's civilization and humanitarian values. His Majesty the King wished the people of UAE further progress, prosperity and development under their wise leadership. Then all the attendees had lunch. The meeting and tour were attended by His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and president of the Bahrain Olympics Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports and president of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Minister of the Royal Court, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Commander of the National Guard, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, among who also attended were the Chairman of the Department of Transport, His Highness Sheikh Diab bin Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan, His Highness Sheikh Zayed bin Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan the Chairman of the Abu Dhabi Executive Affairs Authority, Mr. Khaldun Khalifa Al Mubarak, the Under Secretary of the Abu Dhabi Crown Prince's Court, Mr. Mohammed Mubarak Al Mazairi, the Director General of the Department of Protocol and Hospitality in Dubai, Khalifa Saeed Suleiman, in addition to a number of officials. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa pays a visit to His Highness the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Su Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan, at His Majesty's in Abu Dhabi. Also present was the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports Council and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. 
His Majesty the King expressed sincere pride and appreciation in the brotherly stances of the UAE towards the Kingdom of Bahrain, which embody solid ties that bind the two countries and their people. His Majesty also hailed the strategic role of the United Arab Emirates on the regional and international levels and its policy of security and peace spreading that is led by UAE President His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayan and UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum and the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan. His Majesty noted that the spirit of giving and taking initiative that the leaders of the UAE possess and inherited from the latest Highness Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nayan. He also noted that recalling the late Sheikh's wise stances and noble attributes come as a token of loyalty and gratitude to his stature. His Majesty said that His Highness Sheikh Zayed, may God rest his soul, was a supporter of Arab countries as well as all countries in all circumstances citing that his founding role was a comprehensive renaissance of the United Arab Emirates will continue to inspire every leader who seeks the welfare of his nation. His Majesty also reviewed with the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi topics of mutual interest on the bilateral, regional and international levels. Attending the meeting was the Royal Court Minister, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Survey and Land Registration Bureau President, Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, as well as the accompanying delegation. His Royal Highness the Deputy King, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met today at Qadabia Palace His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Pr Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, where they discussed a number of local affairs, as well as regional and international developments. The Royal Highnesses affirmed that international cooperation has become a necessity in facing challenges to maintain the region's security and stability. They noted that the international partnership has succeeded in stopping the threat of terrorism, adding that coordination must continue and the misuse of technology to undermine the security of countries and influence the developmental path must be prevented. The Royal Highnesses expressed pride in the Kingdom of Bahrain's safe and stable environment, which paves the way for further development. They affirm the government's keenness to adopt initiatives that enhance the kingdom's safe environment, supported by the people's keenness to maintain security and stability, and their stances against any attempts to undermine the security of the country. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired the ordinary weekly meeting of the Council of Ministers in Gadebia Palace today morning. Following the conclusion of the meeting, the General Secretary of the Council of Ministers, Yasser bin Isa Al Nasser, released the following statement. His Royal Highness the Premier praised the contents of His Majesty King Hamad bin Salman Al Khalifa's speech on the occasion of National Day celebrations, marking the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim country founded by Ahmed al-Fatah in 1783, the 47th anniversary of its full membership of the United Nations and the 19th anniversary of His Majesty's accession to the throne. His Royal Highness thanks citizens, residents, institutions and private and governmental agencies for the patriotic sentiments that they have expressed in a variety of ways on the occasion. His Royal Highness also praised the accomplishments of the Kingdom of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty, which have modernised and developed the country and raised its profile regionally and internationally. 
His Royal Highness then directed all ministries and governmental agencies to immediately address all the recommendations of the National Audit Office's report, while affirming that the government is keen on maintaining a culture of strict accountability to guard against any waste of public funds. His Royal Highness also directed the ministries to take immediate action against officials who have committed transgressions. While displaying infrastructural projects and programmes that are being carried out in villages and other areas, His Royal Highness advised the relevant authorities to carry out plans for housing projects in Dar Khalib and Hurat Sanad, where 1,200 residential units are to be constructed. His Royal Highness also called for the alleviation of traffic bottlenecks in towns and villages by building additional entrances and exits and by broadening the streets. His Royal Highness also directed the relevant authorities to determine the service-orientated projects that may be carried out in cooperation with the private sector, among which are the projects that build youth and sports centres. His Royal Highness then expressed solidarity with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia against attempts to interfere in its internal affairs, defame its leadership and undermine its sovereignty, such as the resolution in the United States Senate, which it premised on false claims in this context. His Royal Highness also praised Donald Trump administration for its responsible position on the matter and appreciate its efforts to fight terrorism and to bring peace and stability in cooperation with its regional allies. The Cabinet reviewed the executive status of 199 service projects directed by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and directed the programming of the projects costing 55.5 million dinars to be included in the future budget cycles. The Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Construction and Infrastructure, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Education, the Minister of Electricity and Water, Minister of Works and Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning, the Minister of Housing, Minister of Health and the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs presented achieved and underway projects. The Cabinet approved the reorganisation of the Ministry of Finance and National Economy in accordance with the requirements of the continuity of the Government's efforts in sustaining development and implementing strategic directions and responsibilities by adding the position of Under Secretary, two Assistant Under Secretaries and a number of departments to the administrative hierarchy. In implementation of the Royal Decree, the National Tax Authority has been established and its organisational hierarchy has been approved by the Cabinet which includes a Chief Executive Officer with the rank of Assistant Undersecretary, two Chief Executive Assistants with the rank of Assistant Undersecretary and a number of departments. The Cabinet approved the organising of the Real Estate Regulatory Authority so that it has an Executive Chief with the rank of Undersecretary and a number of departments. The Cabinet approved a draft resolution that grants employees with special needs and caretakers of first-class relatives with special needs two hours of paid leave according to terms and conditions, based on the evaluation of the General Medical Evaluation Committee. The Cabinet approved a Memorandum of Understanding for the cooperation in the field of space activities for peaceful purposes between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Kadebia Palace a number of members from the Representative Councils, where His Royal Highness discussed with them a number of topics on national affairs. He stressed the importance of the cooperation between the government and the Representatives Council and praised the coordination between the legislative and executive authorities that resulted in a number of accomplishments. His Royal Highness stressed that both the government and the Parliament seek to provide what's best for the citizens and added that the government sees the Representatives Council as a main partner for its role in representing the people of the country and achieving their aspirations. The members affirmed that His Royal Highness is a role model in communicating with citizens and meeting their needs. His Royal Highness affirmed the government's keenness to ensure the coordination and understanding between the two authorities in dealing with various national issues. He affirmed that this cooperation enhances the development march of the Kingdom in all fields and that the government is keen to further strengthen this cooperation. The Representatives Council members affirmed the keenness to provide the support needed to achieve the aspiration of the people of Bahrain and to provide high living standards. His Royal Highness expressed confidence in the members and expressed hope to further enhance this cooperation. The members expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his keenness to enhance the cooperation between the legislative and executive authorities. They affirmed that His Royal Highness's directives affirm the importance of this cooperation in supporting the forward march of the Kingdom.
On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Chairman of the Isa bin Salman Educational Fund, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today was welcomed by the National Evangelical, Sacred Heart and St Peter's Jacobite Syrian Orthodox Churches, as well as St Christopher's Cathedral, to mark Christmas festivities. His Highness noted Bahrain's long history of promoting peaceful coexistence between all faiths, highlighting in particular His Majesty King Hamad's role in building on these efforts through the King Hamad Global Centre for Interfaith Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence. His Highness stressed that Bahrain continues to attach great importance to fostering and promoting the principle of multiculturalism to ensure understanding and harmony among the Kingdom's multifaceted society. His Highness concluded by highlighting the importance of encouraging interfaith dialogue and the value of moderation and respect amongst communities. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowment, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamadan, Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the King Hamad Global Centre for Interfaith Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence, Dr Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and other members of the centre were also present.
deputised by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Vice President of the Royal Family Council, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, accompanied by the Minister of Royal Court Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa, and Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa, Bahrain's ambassador to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Hamoud bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Director General of the Royal Family Council, Sheikh Salman bin Khalid Al Khalifa, and Bahrain's ambassador to the United Kingdom, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa offered the condolences of His Majesty the King to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Minister of Defence, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz, the Royal Highnesses, the deceased sons and Al Saud family, and the demise of His Royal Highness, Prince Talal bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. The delegation also conveyed the condolences of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to the Saudi monarch, His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince, the Royal Highness's deceased sons and Al Saud family, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace. The Saudi monarch expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his kind sentiments which reflects the depth of the historic and brotherly relations between the two kingdoms and their people wishing His Majesty abundant health and happiness. The Ministry of Housing announced the statistics of the Ministry's efforts in implementing the commitments listed in the Government Action Plan 2015 to 2018, noting that the Ministry began the implementation of 26,401 housing units during the four previous years. <laughs> أن نعلن تسميتها باسم مدينة خليفة. It is worth noting that dividing the distribution system into stages of merit distribution, electronic withdrawal, and delivery of contacts has been successful. The system contributed to the early housing of those on the project's waiting list, as well as to achieving the moral objective of satisfying citizens. Six years after signing the first partnership with the private sector, it became a main part in the system of social housing. The percentage of the private sector's contribution to a number of projects that the Ministry has planned during the four previous years reached 12.5% of the total units number. Mazaya program, which was launched by the Ministry in partnership with a number of institutions and banks, is considered an instant service for new families to receive a housing unit according to their preferences in terms of size and location. من إنجازات تنموية متتالية نحمد الله عليها ونشكر كل من يساندنا في تحقيق تطلعاتنا لخير وطننا الغالي وبما يحقق طموحات شعبنا الوفي ولعله من حسن الطالع أن يأتي افتتاح هذا المعلم العصري المتميز في سياق نهضة عمرانية وحضرية شاملة ومراعية لاحتياجات كافة مناطق البحرين تعمل من أجل تعزيز موقع ومكانة كل محافظة من محافظاتها the development of housing policies is considered one of the government's priorities in light of its vision of sustaining this vital social field. The cooperation document that the Ministry of Housing had signed with the United Nations Development Office in 2017 was one of those endeavors. The document aims to develop the policies and services according to the current and future challenges and the population growth indicators. As studies have been prepared according to the outcomes to develop new recommendations and initiatives that contribute to the continuity of providing social housing services to citizens.